Would you say, I hope the bitch dies? Did you say that? That's the bitch I was talking about. Oh, I see. Ray Carew, that's your client, the bitch. Nobody wanted to be within arm's length of Van Brett Watkins. I was very glad the marshals were between me and him. <laughs> he had a look in his eyes that I, I, I may be only seen once or twice in my life. It was the look of, I can do whatever I want to do to whoever I want to do it to. If you pushed enough of Van Brett Watkins' buttons, you could see what a violent anger management problem he had. So you're sort of a hitman without a weapon. Is that what you are? If that's what you want to say. Well, that's what you were, according to you. If that's what you, I could kill you with my hands. Okay. Is that what you were? I could kill you with my hands. And the court uh, was convinced by uh, Carew's attorney to uh, find him to be a hostile witness to them, even though they were calling him and allowed them to cross-examine him. They, uh, I, I use the term, pushed him to the point where he, uh, at one point, actually threatened uh, Carew's attorney. And so did he say, well, you go on back and you go get that gun, because I don't need to be spending another $200 and having Mr. Kennedy running all around all night looking for a gun when- I didn't need a gun. Okay, to, for me to kill somebody, I don't need a gun. Can't you look and see? I'm 286 pounds. Okay, I would rip you like a rag doll. I'm 286 pounds, and I could rip you limb from limb like a little rag doll. I'll tear you up like a rag doll. I'll shake you like a rag doll. I could rip you apart like a rag doll. Right after that, I said I have no further questions. Your Honor. Hey, Carly. You're right about that. I mean, you go back in that jury room and you look at each other and you think, oh my God. You know, did that just happen? That influenced me. This guy was dangerous. Uh, without a soul, 